So in this example, we want to um, not only find the partial derivatives with respect to x and y, uh, but we also want to evaluate those at the uh, given points. Okay. So this notation that you see, uh, f subscript x, f subscript y, that just means this is just another way of writing partial f with respect to x. And this one is just partial of y with respect to, I'm sorry, partial f with respect to y. Okay. So let's go ahead and find those. Okay. So, um, so remember f, so f x is the same thing as finding the uh, partial f with respect to x. of the square root of x squared minus y squared. Okay, so so I remember this algebraically this is the same as x squared minus y squared to the power one half. Okay. So sometimes you may have to just like with uh, with you know with the derivatives you saw in calc one you may have to rewrite the expression and you may have to rewrite it in equivalent uh, in equivalent or a different way. Uh, using algebraic methods, okay. So just so that you could apply the uh, the principles. So in this case, um, this is just taking the partial f, okay. All right. So I should say, see, I don't need the f there. So so this is going to be the partial of x squared minus y squared to the power one half. Okay, so then we can use again. Think about in terms of the using the chain rule. Okay, you bring down the one half, subtract one from one half. That gives us minus one half, and then we're going to take the partial with respect to x of the of the inside part. Okay, so this is going to give us one half times x squared minus y squared to the power minus one half times the partial with respect to x of x squared minus y squared. So in this case, remember, partial thinking the partial with respect to x, you're treating y as constant. So this is going to give us two x. And so then this is the one half times two is one. So we end up getting x times um, x times x squared minus y squared to the power negative one half. And that is the same as writing it as x over the square root of x squared minus y squared, and then the square root of that. Okay, so this is our partial, this is the partial f, f with respect to x. Okay. So now we need to find the partial f with respect to y. So let's do that down here. Okay. So let's see. Let me write that a little bit better. I need some more space here. So we have partial of the square root of x squared minus y squared with respect to, and taking the partial of that respect to y. So this is the same as saying taking the partial of x squared minus y squared to the one half uh, with respect to y. So again, using the power rule, this is going to give us one half times x squared minus y squared to the negative one half times we need to take the partial with respect to y of again the of this inside part okay and that's going to give us one half times x squared minus y squared to the power negative one half times okay 
uh, we're going to take the derivative or the partial derivative of this with respect to y. So we treat x as a constant and treat y as a variable here. So that's this part x squared is going to be 0. And so from there, we're going to get minus 2y. So simplifying this, that we're going to end up getting y divided by the square root of x squared minus y squared. Okay. All right, so now finding these, so now we, that we have these, we can go ahead and evaluate, um, we can find the partial of f with respect to x at minus 2, 1, and then find the, uh, evaluate the uh, partial f with respect to y at minus 3, negative 2. Okay, so for the first one we have f, x, we want to evaluate that partial with respect to x at minus 2, 1. So again, this is just evaluating a multi uh, multivariable function. So keep in mind, this is this is your x, this is your y value. So you're going to plug those back into here, okay? So you're going to get minus two divided by. So this is going to give us minus two squared plus uh, minus one. So that's going to give us minus 2 divided by the square root of, so this is 4 minus 1, which is 3. So that is the partial of x evaluated at minus 2, 1. Okay. So you can think of that as the, uh, the slope of the line. So if you've been reading in the textbook, that is if you take the curve, if you take the plane and cut the curve, um, the part of the curve that's being isolated, there's a tangent line there. And the slope of that tangent line is what you see at this point, at the point negative 2, 1. Okay. So that's what this value represents. So the next thing is we need to take the, uh, we need to evaluate the partial of y, a uh, partial f with respect to y at minus 3, negative 2. So using this result, so again, keeping in mind that this is x, this is y, to get minus 2 divided by the square root of minus 3 squared minus negative 2 squared. And so this is going to be minus 2 divided by square root of 9 minus 4. And that's going to give us minus 2, let's see, minus 2 over, and I think I forgot my negative here. Let me go and put it back in. It's coming from here. All right, so that's going to be positive here. Okay, so anyway, we get, so it's positive, actually. All right, yeah. So we're going to get 2. It's positive 2. So we're going to get 2 over root 5. Okay. So there's the results that we need. And again, uh, this just means that we're taking the plane and cutting through the surface and treating y and treating x as a constant. And so what's revealed is that you get the slope of that tangent line. Okay. Along that along that curve, it's going to be this value at that point at the point minus three negative two. Okay.